I'm out here today with the world's first sodium ion powered electric skateboard to do a real world range test. See how far I can go on this custom built sodium ion battery pack. You can pause if you want to read the exact specs. And if I open up the battery, you'll see that I also have a lithium battery in here. That's my rescue battery. So that if my battery cuts out earlier than expected, I'm a little far away from home, I do have the lithium as a backup so I don't have to hike the board all the way back. So if I did my math correctly, we're gonna get about 15 kilometers of range off the sodium ion battery, but I'm a little bit worried because this thing has extreme voltage tag and I have yet to test it at the low end of the charge. It's probably gonna get pretty severe. So I don't know if we're even gonna get the full breadth of charge from this battery pack. And because this board is being used for backpacking, I of course have my full winter backpacking loadout. All right, and without further ado, let's get out of here. So we're at 3.75 kilometers and I'm already starting to feel the voltage sag a little bit. So it'll be interesting to see how much power this thing retains when it gets close to being depleted. So we just slowed down to 15. You can really see the sag that happens. The unfortunate downside to this battery pack I built is sodium ion has very limited options when it comes to battery management systems. And the only one I could find with a reasonable discharge rate had 20 amps as the discharge, which means that combined with the nominal voltage of this drivetrain, I'm looking at a max output of 750 watts. A little trail. What do you think? Should we go investigate it? I'm max throttle right now. Oh, scrape the bottom. Yeah, as you can see, we're uh, getting quite a lot of voltage sag at this point. We're not even at eight kilometers yet and the board was already beeping at me. Yeah, we're, uh, we're on an outright crawl now. We're on flat level ground right now and I'm at maximum throttle and we're doing eight kilometers an hour. <laughs> oh man, the voltage sag on this battery is nuts. This battery definitely doesn't have much life left in it, so I'm a little bit uh, shy of my 10 kilometer turnaround point. I'm only at 7.4 something. Let's uh, start limping our way back that way until the board just outright dies and refuses to move. So I did let this sit and rest with the uh, thing open for a little bit. From a standstill, let's see if this thing's got any torque or if it's still just basically in turtle mode. a little bit of torque we're still just crawling along at nine kilometers an hour here i don't even know how depleted the board is but once it gets to the point where it just outright cuts off or it goes so slow that walking's faster i'll stop and switch to the lithium battery yeah so a minute later and we're just barely barely crawling along here five kilometers an hour like look at this look how slow i'm going this is embarrassing. I can walk faster than this. <laughs> I feel like Austin Powers in the steamroller. Ah, ah. Let's see how warm this pack even is. I mean, the cells are warm, but not like hot. Right? Like if I hover my hand over it, I could feel some warmth radiating from it, it doesn't seem excessive, like you know what I mean? We only did 
7.69 kilometers. I don't have my voltimeter on me right now. I'll put on the screen right now what the voltage of the pack is. So interestingly enough, I switched over to my lithium ion uh, battery pack and performance wise, it actually doesn't seem to be doing any better than the sodium ion battery. 